What's up, LNT fam? Welcome back to another video, and look what I got. I got myself a new project. We actually just purchased this with the rear end damage. In a minute, we'll show you exactly what's going on with it, but this is a 2021 Tesla Platt, latest and greatest, and supposedly super fast. I watched a few YouTube videos, and this thing destroys a lot of supercars, so super excited to drive this once we're done with it. And this vehicle will be for sale, so if anybody is interested reach out and we'll be more than happy to sell it to you and this car only has 1600 miles and you guys might ask hey Vlad where'd you get this we actually bought this car from a fellow subscriber thank you so much for reaching out and selling this beautiful car to us so here's the story he was driving minding his own business enjoying his beautiful morning and somebody re-rented him and he actually just purchased this car a few months ago he just wanted perfect car without any collision or any repairs at such a new age you know where he just barely drove this car the car has 1600 miles so he barely put any miles and here we are we bought it so if any of you guys been in a car accident or somebody re-rented you or hit you and you guys don't want the car anymore feel free to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to buy that car from you clean title salvage doesn't matter just let us know what you have and we'll go from there so let's uh, go do a quick walk around and see exactly what's going on with this beauty so we'll start with the front end front end is completely perfect uh, the only problem we have right now the car is completely shut off there there's no power and uh, because of the rear end collision the seat belt locked out so the seat belts deployed this way the module is completely disconnected or something happens whenever they get re-rendered so it just shuts the power off completely side is perfect and then here's the damage pretty much just uh, trunk is all perfect tailgate is perfect no damages to the tailgate just the rear body right here and somebody already took everything apart it wasn't us that's how we got the car i guess this car went to some other body shop and they're gonna fix it but the whole process would take up to six months or something crazy like that so that's why the owner didn't even want to wait and have repaired cars so he just wanted to get rid of it and here we are we bought it so it's gonna be fairly easy repair all we need to do is replace the rear body bumper and pretty much that's it but here is the rear body damage nothing too serious very easy so we're just gonna replace this and it's gonna look like nothing ever happened so i just cleaned everything up around the edges so now we could start cutting this one out and same with this side and pretty much what's holding it a little bit of glue and few spot welds and should come off I'll let the fun begin how they say let's do this let's go so right now i got a big hammer and hammer fixes everything <laughs> just joking right now i want to bang this out as much as i can before we start cutting everything out so it's nice and straight this is the best stuff how they say in russian Против лома нет приема, кроме кувалды. Let's go. If this would be a salvage title, technically we could have saved this rear body. But since the car is clean title, we want to make it perfect, you know. Replace it and it will be 100% like nothing ever happened. So that's why we're replacing it. So we got to do everything by the book. So this is why... We're cutting this one out, but overall it's not too bad. It's pretty much almost ready. <laughs> Looks pretty good. <laughs> like nothing happened. See, sometimes it sucks that it's clean title because you got to replace everything. Sometimes salvage is good because you could just bang it out, make it straight and good, but that's not how we roll around here. We gotta make it perfect. No cutting corners around here. Replace what's damaged and good to go. So everything looks good, so now let's start cutting it out and we'll go from there. I also marked everything where I need to uh, drill the spot welds so this way we don't damage any other body parts. So on this side pretty much gotta drill everything on the inside all the way down 
kind of marked everything so I know what I'm doing. And same with this side. It goes all the way down. So I gotta carefully remove this without damaging any other panels and the floor. And I'll be using this uh, grinder. Just grind them out and we should be as good as new. Everything is glued up here too, crazy glue. Gotta apply a little bit of heat and see if that will help. Definitely not gonna be a quick one, that's for sure. Okay, change of plans. This is gonna take way too long. So I'm gonna cut it out with the chisel, everything, and then just leave the edges. So once everything's removed and I have a lot more room to get in there, I'll clean it up really nicely. Cause right now just too much going on and uh, nothing moves. So I think that's gonna be the best option. So I'm gonna get a chisel and just kind of go around everything cut everything out and just leave the edges and then I could clean the edges up once this is removed. That's the plan. Let's do it. And I'll use something like this, a chisel gun. And I'm just gonna cut it out and then I'll have more access to clean it up instead of removing the whole big piece. Gotta make life a lot easier. <laughs> Why work the hard way when you could work the smart way? This is a heavy duty aluminum. Let's try to remove this now. Man, this is really strong panel. Gotta heat this up. Much better. Now I have all the room to clean this up and remove it very carefully. So this is what it looks like. So now I could just go around at the bottom, remove the bottom portion and then go around and remove this one. See what I did? I cut everything out. So now I could heat this up real good and it just comes up because it has crazy glue as you guys could see right here. See how easy it comes off now. a lot better instead of me working with such a big piece highly recommend whenever you're removing or a quarter panel cut as much as you can and leave the edges and then this way you have a lot more easier work but same with this tesla it's like a golf cart pretty much the way they're designed and stuff like that nothing special boom very easy and simple. So now we could work this edge and once again, I gotta remove this super carefully so I don't damage this panel because this panel will be reusing it. We're gonna have to slide the 
body panel underneath this one so far so good very smooth just patience you gotta take your time and remove everything very very carefully tons of progress so far and it took me about two and a half hours to get to this so i'm happy let's continue working and we'll go from there comes the last piece everything's removed so this is what it looks like see how much glue they put everywhere that's crazy but everything came off nice and clean so we're done with this side next uh, we're gonna work on this side and do the same thing free everything clean everything up and we're ready to start test fitting the new one baby almost out Ugh. and it's finally out about time look how much glue they put crazy pretty much what you gotta do just heat it up as much as you can and until it falls off so next uh, I want to clean up all this uh, glue straighten some of it uh, kind of open up the sides as well because it slides in there so something like this so let's clean this up and we'll go from there. So we're test fitting the body panel. I'm not gonna secure it all the way. I wanna just test fit everything, make sure gaps are good, trunk closes no problem, and then we'll secure it. But this is what it looks like. That's where we at right now. So let's kinda secure everything on bolts and see how everything is. And then if everything is super nice and gaps are perfect, then we'll secure it completely. So that's the little plan that we got going on. And what I did, I put a couple uh, screws uh, so the body panel stays in one spot. So I put little uh, self screws right here, right here. So now everything is secured and I could go around everywhere and get in around the bottom, around the sides and put as much as a uh, binding panel adhesive as I can. And then we'll just put a uh, sealer around the edges and it's gonna look like factory. So let's go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get in there as much as I can and go around and put as much as pending adhesive as possible. And the way they made it kind of stupid, uh, I wish you could put this glue everywhere and then tuck it in, but it's not going to work like that. You're going to get it everywhere. So this is the only, I guess, solution. So let's go. everywhere so now we're ready for rivets boom something like that and see the glues coming out that's what we want to see
we've got the Tesla rear bumper inside of the spray booth prepped and ready to go. So we'll spray the bumper and then we'll paint the rear body and the Tesla is done. So very little of uh, painting we have to do. Just the rear bumper and rear body and we're done with the Tesla. Bumper is painted and ready to go, so we could start installing it. And also, if you guys want to see step by step the whole process, my brother Andre finally created a new YouTube channel, LNC Painter. I'll put his link in description, so check it out. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, he's going to be making tons of new content about paint. If you guys have questions as well, you guys could reach out to him and he'll answer any of your guys' questions. So for now, let's start installing the bumper and we'll go from there. So uh, we painted the rear body, we painted the bumper so I could start putting everything back together and we still have issues to get this car up and running. I don't know, I changed everything and it seems, I don't know what's going on with it. So I think we might have to take the car to a Tesla dealership and have them go through or I don't know what's going on. Don't know too much about electric cars but as far as the body work everything is done so what i'm going to do next i'll put the rear bumper together put everything together and then i guess we're gonna have to take it to the dealership so let's start with the back end and we'll go from there we're gonna start with this rear upper bumper bracket so next we're gonna install the reinforcement Just installed the rear reinforcement, upper bumper bracket. So we're done with the back end and ready to start installing the bumper. And here's the rear bumper. I already put everything together. So it's just gonna be plug and play. And we got a few bolts at the bottom. finished with Tesla but unfortunately it's still not running I don't know what's going on with it we replaced everything and it's still in the safe mode so we have to take the car to the dealership have them go through it probably needs the Tesla computer to get it going so this is where we at so once we get the car back we'll drive it and we'll have some fun so thank you guys once again for watching this video if you're new to this channel and you enjoy this kind of content you know what to do subscribe don't forget to like this video and I'll catch you guys in the next video До свидания! Oh, 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 oh,